Hello guys, welcome to the next session on shell scripting tutorial for beginners. In this session, we are going to see how we can use the if statement in our script. Now if you are familiar with any other programming languages, you may know that if statement can be used to evaluate some conditions and if the condition is true then your code will be executed, otherwise it goes into else condition or it's not going to execute. So let's see how we can use the if statement in our script. So to use if statement in bash script, you have the basic skeleton like this. So you have to write here if and after that you have to uh, take square brackets and in square brackets you are going to write some conditional expression. So I am going to just write here condition and then you write a keyword called then and then if the condition is true then you perform that statement and then if the if statement is done then you write fi for end of this statement. So this was the basic syntax of if statement. Now let's see how we can use it with some examples. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a variable. So let's say the variable name is count and let's say the value of count is 10 and we want to evaluate this variable. So what I'm going to do here in the square brackets, I'm going to declare my variable which is count. So I'm going to write here simply dollar count c o u n t count and then there are some comparison operators here I can use with the integer so uh, for comparison what you can use you can use equality or non-equality or greater than or less than or greater than and equal to or less than and equal to so these are the comparison operators you can use so uh, I'm going to show you the list of comparison operators uh, which you can use with the integers so here as you can see this is the list I have so you can use with the integer and as you can see on the first we have hyphen eq for equal to this is used for equality and this is the syntax how you can use this uh, uh, comparison operator and on the second we have hyphen ne for not equal to hyphen gt for greater than hyphen ge for greater than or equal to hyphen lt for less than and hyphen le is for the less than or equal to and if you want to use these angle brackets so you have to use double parenthesis instead of using these square brackets so now let's use our first comparison operator which is hyphen eq i mean equal to so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, write here simply hyphen eq and let's uh, compare it with for example 9 which we know that this condition is not true because 10 is not equal to 9 so what we can do uh, here is uh, we can just uh, echo that string so i'm going to just write here echo and after that i'm going to write uh, condition is true but in our case this is not true so nothing will be printed so let's run our script and let's see what output it gives so just run the script so as you can see there is nothing printed on the screen because this 10 is not equal to this 9 uh, but if i use 10 instead of using 9 over here so now let's run the script once again and let's see what output it gives and as you can see condition is true because hyphen eq is used for equality and uh, this count variable 10 is equals to this conditional 10 now in the same way we can use all these expressions which i have shown you so for example uh, let's use hyphen ne instead of using hyphen eq for non-equality and uh, let's say i'm going to uh, write here for example 10 so let's run the script once again and let's see what output it gives so run the script and as you can see nothing is printed on the screen because hyphen uh, n is used for non-equality and this condition is uh, false because 10 is equals to 9 but here we have used the uh, hyphen n e for non-equality comparison operator so that's why it's not print it is not printing anything on the screen and uh, if i just uh, write in 9 instead of using 10 over here so let's see what output it gives now so run the script and as you can see condition is true because uh, 9 is not equals to 10 so if you want to use the greater than uh, comparison operator so you can just write here a hyphen gt instead of using hyphen ne so if we uh, type here uh, uh, hyphen gt and uh, let's say we want to compare it with 9 so let's run the script once again and let's see what output it gives so just run the script and as you can see condition is true because her 10 is greater than 9 so the echo string is printed so you can use all these comparison operators to evaluate your condition in the case of integer now let's see uh, this angle bracket case so for checking whether the count variable is greater than uh, 9 or not we can just write here 
this type of angle bracket to check whether the count variable is greater than 9 or not and wherever the angle bracket opens it has to be bigger number in order to fulfill the condition so let's see what is the result of this script so save the script and run the script once again and as you can see condition is true because 10 is greater than 9 and if you want to use angle brackets instead of using this square bracket so just remove the uh, square brackets and use a double parenthesis to uh, write your expression inside these uh, angle brackets so just write here angle brackets and just save the script once again and let's run the script and as you can see this works also so this kind of expressions you generally use with double parenthesis and uh, you have other expressions also like greater than or equal to or less than or equal to to use with these double parenthesis now for comparing the string you have to use single equal to or double equal to they are same and in the case of non-equality you use uh, this kind of uh, exclamation mark and equal to symbol or you have the single uh, angle bracket for checking the alphabetical order so let's say we have uh, our variable uh, word over here uh, we are going to use an other variable instead of using count we are going to uh, type here word and let's say its value is equals to a b and c and we can just uh, use the square brackets once again over here instead of using uh, our double parenthesis so we are going to use square brackets and inside these square brackets i'm going to uh, evaluate my uh, variable which is dollar word and let's say we are going to compare it with some uh, condition so i'm going to compare it with uh, equals to and i'm going to compare it with for example let's say we are going to compare it with a b and c so as you can see we have compared the variable word with a b c in our if condition now let's run our script and let's see what output it gives and uh, just simply run the script and as you can see it says condition is true because our word variable is also equals to abc and we have specified in the condition that dollar word is equal equals to abc so we have used double equal to in this condition you can also use single equal to over here so i'm going to remove one equal to and uh, let's save the script and run it once again and as you can see it also says the condition is true now let's change this comparison uh, let's say with uh, some random number and run the script once again and as you can see nothing has printed on the screen because our word variable is equals to abc but in the condition uh, comparison i have uh, used the random variable which is a b c c c and c so this is not equals to uh, this variables that's why it's not printing anything on the screen so for string comparison you use single equal to single equal to also work here so you can use single equal to or double equal to for equality which is a little bit weird when you compare it with some other languages for example c or c plus plus or java or any other language they use this uh, double equals to uh, sign instead of using uh, the single equal to they use this uh, double equals to sign for equality but in our case you can use only a single equal to as we have used in this uh, comparison now you can uh, also use not equal to or non equality for strings so i will just change the operator over here i am going to just uh, uh, add an exclamation mark over here and uh, let's save the script once again and let's run it and let's see what output it gives now so run the script and as you can see condition is true because uh, abc is not equals to this abccd string so whenever you want to check the alphabetical order you can just use uh, this kind of angle, angle brackets over here instead of using the uh, not equal to comparison and let's say we are going to uh, change the variable value to a and let's say we are going to uh, write here the value of our comparison operator is b so now let's check the whether this condition is true or not so simply uh, save the script and run the script once again and as you can see it says no such file or directory so as we have seen in the case of integers whenever you use these angle brackets over in the comparison operator you need to use double parenthesis so whenever you use angle brackets with strings you need to use double square brackets that's why you see this error here which says no such file or directory so you just need to use double square brackets with the good string 
so just uh, use uh, double square brackets instead of using single square brackets over here so we are going to uh, use double square brackets over here with our uh, string so now just save the script once again and let's uh, run the script once again and let's see what output it gives so as you can see it says that condition is true that a is uh, greater than b so it says condition is true so keep these conditions in mind so whenever you want to use the comparison operator with integers you can use single square brackets with these equal to or non not equal to or uh, greater than operators and whenever you want to use these uh, angle brackets on integer comparison you need to use the double parenthesis and whenever you want to uh, compare strings you can use singles uh, equal to or double equal to for equality and whenever you want to use angle brackets with uh, strings you need to use double square brackets instead of using double uh, parenthesis now there can be some other conditions with if you can also use else condition with if so let's see how we can use else condition so you may have guessed you have to just uh, write else here after this first echo command so just simply write else over here and then you can just uh, print another echo string after this uh, else so let's say i am going to print uh, over here echo and i'm going to print that uh, condition is false so if you want to use this kind of uh, expressions you already may have guessed that if the condition is true then it is going to print the first echo string after then before uh, else and if the condition is false then it's going to uh, uh, print the else statement and whatever is written between else and the end of the if condition that code will be executed so let's run the script once again and let's see what output it gives and as you can see it says that condition is true true uh, because we have not changed our comparison operator let's change our comparison operator with uh, let's say i'm going to uh, say that uh, a is equals to a is equals to b which is uh, false and uh, just save the script once again and run the script once again and as you can see it says that condition is false so it have checked uh, that uh, a is equals to false uh, b so it says no a is, is not equals to b so it has printed the else condition with this echo string condition is false now there is another way you can uh, use else if condition so if you want to evaluate multiple conditions and on the basis of those multiple conditions you want to execute your code then you can use if else if condition so for example here i'm checking if the variable is a or not so if the condition is true then our first echo string will be executed which is condition is true uh, after first echo string here i can also write uh, after first echo string and i can also write l if and after that we are going to once again write over here then and after that we are going to just write an other echo string after this then so i'm going to just echo echo and uh, let's say we're going to write here condition is true so whenever our first uh, if condition is true we will print that condition b is true and here we will write that condition a is true and here we need to write once again some condition to check so with elif you can just use uh, this kind of condition over here so just copy this condition and uh, uh, paste it over here and uh, let's say we are going to uh, say that uh, we are going to change it with a and if uh, our uh, this elif condition is true then it will print that condition a is true and if our uh, this uh, b uh, comparison operator condition is true then it will print that condition b is true so just save the script once again and let's see uh, what output it gives now so run the script and as you can see it says that uh, dot slash shell dot sh in line 9 it says that lf oh we have not provided the space between this lf so just give a space and now save the script and run the script once again and it says that condition a is true because this word variable is equals to a and our condition is also equals to that variable is equals to a so that's why our uh, this condition is printed on the screen that condition a is true and now let's uh, change our word variable uh, value over here let's say it is equals to a b c and save the script once again and now let's run the script once again and let's see what output it gives now 
so it says that condition is false because we have changed the word variable uh, value which is equals to abc and in our first if condition we have specified that uh, b uh, word variable is equals to b which is false so that's why this condition is not printed and in elif condition we also specify that the word variable is equals to a so this condition is also false because uh, abc uh, word variable ab is equals to abc so here we have specified that word is equals to a so this is false so that's why this condition is not printed and uh, here we have the last condition which is else because these two conditions uh, have been false so that's why this echo string is printed a condition is false so in this way you can use if else condition if condition and l if condition in your script so i hope you have enjoyed this session and if you have enjoyed this session so like here and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the notification of all my new videos so let's meet in the next session until then take care goodbye